Hello everyone. I'm here to give you an update on my journey with the light board. If you didn't catch my last video, I created a light board and a light board is basically a piece of plexiglass surrounded by LED lights that I have in front of me and allows me to interact with uh, students like I would with a white board, but in this case, it's called a light board. Now, since that last video, I've done a lot of th things differently. Number one, I've upgraded my equipment. Um, in the last video, I used my webcam from my computer and I used the lights in my garage for lighting and I, for my mic, I used my Sony earbuds. Um, what I've done here for audio, I've upgraded to the Sennheiser um, moderately priced uh, headset mic. And by the way, uh, all of this equipment that I'm going to be covering, I'm not being sponsored in any way. Uh, by these companies. These are, uh, this is equipment that I've researched, I've bought, and I only had two criteria. It had to be moderately priced and it had to have improved upon what I had previously. So back to the mic, Sennheiser uh, makes a really good moderately priced mic and the sound quality is awesome. Uh, the other big upgrade is I went from a webcam to uh, a Canon EOS M50. Uh, that's a D DSLR uh, camera and it is uh, Canon's most moderately priced uh, D DSLR camera, but it's great for uh, vlogging and uh, live streaming with it. And the increase in picture quality is tremendous. I, I'm going to put up here in the corner a contrast between a screenshot of my webcam and the EOS M50. And you can see there's a huge difference in, in quality. The other big increase is uh, lights. I've got uh, two LED uh, lights on either uh, side of me that have barn doors and, uh, and I've got a, a light in front of me that highlights my face and this allows me to um, uh, be properly lit in that in sort of respects. Now the other big upgrade is software. I'm now using OBS. Uh, that's uh, open broadcast software. And what OBS allows me to do is not only um, talk to you in this manner, but I could bring in other tools such as PowerPoint. So you can see here, I've got my laptop over to my side and I've got my fingers on hotkeys. And when I hit a hotkey, I could uh, put myself in the corner and up pops my PowerPoint. And what I could do is I could start going through my PowerPoint, slide by slide, talking about it. And then when I get to the point where I want to comment on something, let's say this uh, chart and graph here, I've supply and demand graph right here, right? What if I said, hey, let me show you how these curves shift. What I can do is I could bring myself back up and then I could use my uh, neon dry waste pens with a, the light board and I could draw right here. I go supply, demand and label my axes. And you could see here I could shift the curve. And after I do that, I could erase it and I can go uh, back to my PowerPoint. You can see now I'm back, I make up my PowerPoint and I can start scrolling through it again. So you can see that this is something that is uh, working really nice, me able to go transition between uh, teaching tools, PowerPoint, Lightboard, and I'm using OBS to do the whole thing. So if you have any questions on how I did this, how I constructed the light board, how I'm using OBS, I do. I, I had to do some tweaking. For example, I do some post-production on the video. Uh, when I write on the light board, I've got to bring this in my video editing software and I got to flip the image uh, because I can't write backwards and uh, it allows you to see it. But I've got to flip the image in a certain way because I don't want to flip it when I'm showing my PowerPoint because when I flip it like that, you will see the letters backwards. So I split the uh, video into segments and cut out my uh, light board section so I could flip that separately. These are just little techniques that I've been using uh, post-production uh, with, the, with the video. So I hope this is helpful. I would love to hear what you have to say in the comments. And that's it.